Okay, so uh, I think I fixed the audio. Um, so I had planned on showing you the difference between a material and a texture. So I shall do that. Okay, so... Let's see... Go into... Edit mode. And, um... Let's see... T for tool. Um... Then subdivide, subdivide. Okay, that should be enough subdivision. Hold Control Shift to highlight multiple. And you gotta. I like at least four for this to work. And then you go Um, okay, you could have done that without the edit mode, but to highlight that one square, you add one over here, go to new, And with those four um, vertices highlighted, you go to the sign, and as you see it turned blue, and I'll show you one more. We will make this one red and go assign. And that's red, so control Z and then for a texture you go Mesh, um, UV unwrap, um, 
you have to pull this down and you go UV map editor where is it there it is UV image editor and you can press plus or minus here to yeah and then you go um Yeah, but you got a UV unwrap that. Okay. New. Uh, open a new one. And you can put pretty much anything there. I mean, you could make something in Photoshop and... Put it there. Yeah. Um, let's see what John do you want to put on there? Uh, th so this is the most weird, I guess. So all, you know. Then you go texture. Go texture. Oh. And something else that's very important you have to go down Hang on a second. It's a little bit different in Blender, so. There it is. Okay. You go. Yep. Yeah, and you see that it's. We got a picture. You, 
then you click UV map there and see pictures And let's see. Then you go Yeah, see this is a little bit different than Blender. Just a tiny bit, not not a whole lot. And then, uh, where's render? Anyway, whatever, um, is in the picture, um, like wherever, whatever we have in this blue space is going to show up on the, um, uh, mesh. Um, where's render? And, uh, you'll have to learn how to bake the texture on, uh, YouTube or something. And, you know what, actually... I can't find render, so I might have to bake it. And I don't want to bake it. I want to render it. Oh, you know what? Um, no. Range. 
Blender, render, that's it. Okay, it's all set up. We just got to come over here. And hit, hit render. Why is it not showing up? Did I not UV unwrap it? Yeah, I think that's the problem. Mesh UV unwrap. Um, together, right? Um, I'm rotating a hundred and eighty degrees so press one eight zero um or you can just okay on the Y Hold on, I'm gonna try this on a cube. Control. Uh, I'm gonna see if. The, <clears throat> crap. Okay, so go into edit mode. Um, mesh UV unwrap, unwrap.
Okay, good. And Okay, so... So we're learning. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this the easy way. Um... I think that's it. Yes, it's alive. <laughs> and then if we want we can scale that up. Wait a minute. Mode. Okay. Edit mode. I am not understanding. OT on the Then scale on the X and let's see um Yeah, I'll teach you how to put that away later. And then you go T.
Um, oh, this is in object mode, that's why. So, go into edit mode. And if you want to, you can get closer so you can cut this out perfectly. Okay, so those are highlighted. So, I like this one. Okay, and then again mm, you can get closer so you can cut them out perfectly but for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna keep it uh, nice and short-ish, I suppose. Okay, so X ah. Okay, that's fine. Press Control Z and then hit X and we go faces and Here, there, hit X, um, faces, then as you can see, we uh, cut them out. Um, and uh, If you want to animate 
that. You go over here. Let's see. To timeline. And once again, this is a little bit different from Blender, so. It's, it's very similar to Blender, but not, not the same. Um, okay, so. You could do this in edit mode, or you could do this in object mode. Uh, why they shifted, I don't know. Okay, so what you want to do is come over here. Go to lock rot scale that says it will record location, rotation, and scale. And then you hit this. Um, whoops. Every time you want to create a keyframe, so. You move across the timeline. You click your dude. So we're gonna grab him, rotate on the Y. Uh, 90, no. Uh, cancel that out. We're going to move or grab on the Y. We're going to rotate 45. That's still a little too much. But for quickness sake, we're going to have to deal with that. And then you go rotate on the Y uh, and hit minus 90. And damn it, I freaked. Okay, so on now on this keyframe, uh, you hit rotate on the Y forty five degrees. Um, Add the keyframe. Then rotate on the Y. Negative 90. Add the keyframe. Okay, next. We're gonna go into game logic.
We're gonna go always go and Then we're gonna go action and here is gonna be a list of your actions but I've only created one so and we're not gonna leave it at just play we're going to change it to ping pong so it goes back and forth and then so As you can see, there's a start and an end keyframe, so we can start at zero, and but we've got to see where it ends, and that's at like 20, so go back here. To game logic and go You can either Alt A to see your animation or you can see uh, go back to range and press P okay so it disappeared that doesn't happen or didn't happen in blender Um, I made dudes dance in Blender. Let's see. Alt A. So, it does it there. But it doesn't do it there. I bet you the problem is it's probably that we didn't add it in a range we added it in the render engine. This tool shelf is annoying me. Yeah. 
And once again, every item you make is going to show up over here. Um... Let's see. P. It still doesn't show up. We're learning here, so. Uh, I'm sorry for wasting your time, but there was. Another thing that I wanted to show you, um, well, first of all, um, So yeah, you can go uh, object, let's see, quick effects. Um, so you can go quick for and uh, yeah you, I think you need a particle system for that you can whoops you can go Quick smoke. Uh, and Alt A. What was that? Okay, wait. X. Then Shift A. You know what? We'll just do this the easy way. Cube. Um, and then to duplicate it, just hit Shift D. And you can move that on the Y or the X or the Z. And you're going to scale this one up a little. Actually, you're going to scale it up really big. And on this one, you're going to go... On this one, you're going to go, um, rename, domain, and you're going to see, see why we rename these. Um, 
not lamp cube. At least I think that's the right one. And you're going to go flow and uh, you I guess you have to do this in render you can't which I guess is why it wasn't showing up in the game engine. Blender render the, and then, yeah, you add a particle system. And let's see. Emitter. That's right. Um. Then you go there and let's see. Smoke. Domain Okay, you make this one Smoke and then flow This is gonna be the color of your smoke or fire, or whatever you want it to be. And we can make fire and smoke. So go Alt A. And I know you can get the smoke to follow, or the fire to follow a path. So, um, um, Let's see if this will stay if we go over to the range engine. Um, Alt A. Nice. Uh, 
I guess it it won't stay. Okay, not available in the game engine. Um, this tutorial is probably going to be super long and suck super bad, but, um, I haven't even gotten into rigifying, um, and I don't rigify very good, but, uh, with practice, you'll get good at it, and I wanted to wait until tomorrow to make a video, but, um, I'm kind of a starving artist, and I just had to make a video, so, um, We shall end that there for now. And um, if you can sit through my banter and my stupidity, um, I'll uh, come up with something else oh well, first of all if you can sit through my banter and stupidity um you can watch this video to the end and learn some cool tips and tricks uh and i will Talk to you guys in the next video.